What do you call a group of people that frequently donate blood? The Ivy League. Hey, what's going on guys? Sunday here and welcome back to some more crazy craft. This is episode 23 and when we left off dudes, we uh, we killed the king. We we took the throne from the king, we wrecked his face, and then, uh, yes, this episode, dudes, uh, I, I found something out. I found out some awesome information, so uh, I hope you dudes enjoy. And of course, if you do enjoy this episode, be sure to show me some love. Hit that like button down below. Maybe we can get to uh, 15,000 likes. That would be greatly appreciated. And uh, yes, like I said, dudes, I found out some information. I figured something out. That is ridiculously overpowered. I'm talking about... <laughs> it's insane. Uh, and I'll explain soon. It is really cool. So hang out. Watch this episode, dudes. I think you're gonna like it. We are gonna be stronger than freaking ever. Let's do this. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Uh, you know this Royal Guardian armor, right? How ridiculously overpowered and strong it is? Well, uh, I mean, just look at this. You, you guys know this armor. The protection 10, the fire, everything maxed out, and, uh, well, it's just stupidly overpowered. Well, uh, dudes, I did some research, and, uh, I, I do have- I do have two princes, <laughs> because I killed the king last episode, but, uh, dudes, I did some research, and there is- th there's stronger armor. And not just a little bit stronger. This armor is, like, a million times stronger. <laughs> and, and I'll explain why. It, uh, it- yeah, dear lord, dudes, it is ridiculously strong, and of course we gotta make it. We gotta be as strong as possible because the the end end boss, this next end boss that they just added, is uh, stronger than the king. So, uh, dudes, we need as many buffs as possible. So uh, that's what we're gonna be making this episode, is that armor. And what we need to do to make that armor is we need to do some blood magic. We need to sacrifice our fingers and our blood to this altar. <laughs> we need to become diabetic and prick our finger. I don't know why, but uh, let's do it. Okay, so here's what we need to make. Let's go ahead, let's look at the list of blood magic stuff. Uh, so we need an empty socket. That's the crafting recipe. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's grab some of these. Let's grab this imbued slate. And we already have the master orb. Okay, cool. Let's put all of this in here. And this is how we make more weak blood shards. Uh, let's just go ahead, 10, eh, 10, uh, I don't really want to make too many. I think, uh, let's just, I think 23 is enough. 22 is enough. Yeah, that's more than enough. Um, okay. So let's go ahead. Let's put these back over here so I don't, so I don't run out. And then I think this, yeah, this is crafting recipe here. And then like so, and then diamond in the center. No, not these. A uh, glass, sorry. And I think it's like, the, yeah, there we go. Okay. So empty socket. Now what we want to do is we want to take this empty socket and we want to put it in the blood altar and let it fill up. So let's go ahead. Let's eat a golden apple uh let's get our finger picker <laughs> and uh let's see the golden apple let's put this in here and then prick the crap out of our finger <laughs> dear lord and hopefully i don't kill myself uh so yeah you dudes know this process we just sit here and pick prick our finger until this thing fills up and it'll take a while so uh yeah, it's it, it, this is fun. <laughs> Self mutilation is not a good thing, unless it's in Minecraft. I guess I don't know. It sounds demonic, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, and then once this finishes, dudes, you know the process. I'll chicken chest the crap ton of these and then throw out golden apples just because I don't really want to waste your time or mine with pricking my finger all day long. So uh, yeah. Once this finishes, I'll be right back. And there we go. Okay, cool. So let's take this filled socket and let's just let's just go chicken chest a crap ton of these. Just because it, it's time consuming. Time consuming and I have a crap ton of golden apples, so there we go. Uh, let's get, I guess, 32. 32 should work. Yeah, 32 should be enough for now. And then let's go ahead and throw out some golden apples just because that's probably how much it would cost to get 32 of these. And uh, there we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take, let's go ahead and put one up here for a rainy day. Uh, what we want to do now is we need to make a soul armor forge. So that's the crafting recipe. I need a magician's blood orb. Uh, there we go. We already have the stone and what was the last one? <laughs> I for, oh yeah, the filled socket. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this up here like so. Take the stones and then the blood orb in the center and I got it backwards. 
Freaking dyslexia. I love it. <laughs> there we go. So now we have a soul armor forge. And I'll show you what we need to do with this. Uh, and this is how we make the armor, dudes. It is really freaking sick. This armor, you are going to love. For you dudes that don't know what this armor is, dear lord, it is ridiculously overpowered. So, uh... What we need to do now, what we need to do now is uh, these master blood orbs. You remember these, how to craft these. We need to put some weak blood orbs in this altar. What we need to do now is we need to make four more of, hold on, one, two, three. Yeah, we need to make four more of these master blood orbs. Yeah, this is going to take so long because to make one of these, we have to uh, store 40,000 life points in a weak blood shard. So, uh, yeah. This is going to take a while. <laughs> so uh, what I need to do, let's just go ahead and put four across here. And we'll, th these are the four we need to do. So uh, let's just, let's throw this in here and then prick the absolute crap out of our finger. And uh, yeah, this is going to take a long freaking time, dudes. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is going to take forever, but that's fine. Let's just keep doing this. And whenever I'm done with a few of these, I'll be right back. Well, all right, I have two done. Dear Lord, this is absolutely taking forever. I forgot how long this took. Uh, okay, we'll just <laughs> keep pricking our fingers. We have our princes watching over us. <laughs> oh, dear Lord, dude, this is taking absolutely forever. It sucks I can't chicken chest these, uh, these master orbs. It won't let me. So I just gotta sit here and eat apples and, yeah, prick the crap. I'm not gonna have fingers left. I am just pricking the absolute crap out of my finger. I'm not gonna have fingers left. <laughs> I can already tell you that. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, dear lord, that took forever. I mean, I have 11 golden apples left. I don't know how many I had when I started, but... <laughs> oh gosh, I hate that. It takes so long. Uh, okay, let's put the... I don't think I need these anymore. I'll put them up here for now. Uh, let's put this socket down here. Um, okay, so I have the soul armor forge. I have the filled socket. I can put this back up here. Um, let me let me do some organizing real quick and then dudes we're gonna we're gonna have some fun I think you're gonna like this armor. It's really overpowered. Okay, cool So uh, before I set up the armor thing, uh, I want to make one more sigil I want to make one more sigil so I need uh, feather or feathers hey, feathers wait. Fe I know I have feathers Okay, I need six feathers uh, six feathers and I need an orb and a sigil. I need uh, I think this one and I believe this one I think <laughs> hopefully I'm right. So put this here up top put this here here uh, Put that one in the middle and that on the bottom it, is it. It's not right D there it is Okay, cool, and now we have the air sigil So what I want to do with that is uh, look I'll explain that in a second first uh, Let me go ahead and get seriously. I can't even click the chest would you freaks? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to punch you, bro. I'm sorry. Don't be mad. <laughs> I feel bad. I just punched the prince. Oh, that's kind of mean. Um, okay. So uh, I'm gonna f I'm gonna set up this uh, little uh, area. It looks like a little lit ritual thing to make the actual armor pieces. So uh, I'm gonna put it out here, I guess. Uh, I think that'll work. And then we need to make it five across, like so. And then five up, three, four, five. And then create a box. So this is where we do our uh, blood armor ritual. <laughs> Pretty disgusting. But uh, then we need the uh, soul armor forge. Put the soul armor forge right there. And that acts as the crafting center. So let's say we want to make a chess piece. This is how we make it. We take these uh, filled sockets and put it in this crafting area like a normal chess piece, like so. And uh, whenever we right click this uh, soul armor forge, an armor piece will pop out. Really cool stuff, ain't it, dudes? But yeah, of course, uh, th the armor itself, like I said, is very powerful. But that, like I said, there's that's not all you can do to it. The reason why I made all of these master blood orbs and made that extra sigil, and I have these weak blood orbs in here, is you can add effects to this armor. So check this out. Uh, let's say the chest piece, uh, let's go ahead, I need to put a master blood orb on it, of course, and, uh, a weak blood shard, and what, what sigil do I want to put on it? Uh, whirlwind. Let's put whirlwind on the chest piece. So, I go ahead, I click one of these filled sockets with the whirlwind sigil, it takes it, uh, the weak blood shard, and then the master blood orb. So all of those three things are now in this chest piece. So check this out. Whenever I click this, watch this. Yeah, where is it? Where did it go? 
It, is it up here? It fell in the freaking water. <gasps> Dang it. Let me turn on the magnetism or magmatism. Oh gosh, why does this always happen? Oh, where is it? Where's the chest piece? It, it looks it looks disgusting. <laughs> it looks is it down here? I'm gonna take damage. I'm taking damage. Let me eat a golden apple. <laughs> I need to look for this. Where is it? Come on! Where did it go? I just made it! This is ridiculous! Come on, you freak! Where are- Oh, look, my, the princes are swimming with me. That's hilarious. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Holy crap, that's annoying. Um, I'm gonna have to create a platform around this. But, uh, yeah. So, let me turn this magnetism off. Uh, so yeah, this is the chest plate. As you can see, item in slot 0 is Whirlwind. Item in slot 1 is Master Blood Orb. Item in slot 2 is Weak Blood Shard. Um, and here's the thing. Whenever I put this chest plate on, watch this. I now have Whirlwind 2. So whenever pe whenever anything shoots a projectile at me, it'll deflect it. it well, so it says. So, uh, yeah, dudes. Now I have Whirlwind 2. But that's not all. You know how whenever I had- Wait, freaking right! Every time. Every time I record, it rains. You've got to be kidding me. That's so annoying. Uh, okay, let's turn that turn that off and let me create this platform. Um, and here's the thing. Remember when I had the sigils? Like whenever I activate the sigils, it slowly eats away at my life points. Like right now I have uh, 953,000 life points. Whenever I turn on sigils, it slowly takes away life points. But since this whirlwind is on my chest plate and I put a master blood orb in this chest plate, this whirlwind never takes life points. So I ca I have unlimited amount of whirlwind. I mm. never lose life points now. <laughs> Tell me that's not freaking awesome. Okay, so now let's let's make the rest of this armor. I can do that crafting recipe, or I can do that uh, same thing with the rest of this armor. So now let's go ahead, let's make some boots. Uh, and on the boots, I want to put this air sigil. And what this air sigil does is it prevents falling damage. So if I'm never, if I'm not in blaze form, I'm in my human form, I will never take fall damage. So let's go ahead and put the air sigil, weak blood shard, master orb, and click it. And there we go. Now we have the boots. Put them on, and there we go, dudes. Now we negate all fall damage. That is freaking sick. So uh, let's go ahead and create, uh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, the prince. I don't mean to push you around. You are royalty, but you gotta move, bro. Uh, so now let's make the helmet. There we go. And for the helmet, let's go ahead and put on fast miner. Yeah, this should work. So uh, fast miner, weak blood shard, master orb, and boom. There we go. Now check this out. We put the helmet on. Now we have haste two. Permanent haste. Is it that freak? Look at this. Permanent haste, and it does not use life points. I never, I, I won't, I do not use life points now. That is freaking awesome. Uh, okay. So now the last thing I want to make, let's go ahead. Uh, I need to make some pants. So let's put this there. I need to put this in the center. And then we need to make pants just like normal. Excuse me, the prince. <laughs> there we go. And let's put magnetism on my pants. And there we go, dudes. Put the magnetism on. Now I have a permanent magnet effect. So there we go. Give me the pants. Put the pants on. And there we go, dudes. So whenever I break a block, there it goes. It is now automatically put in my inventory. Now I have permanent magnet mode, I have permanent whirlwind, I have permanent haste, and I have permanent fall damage resist. Tell me that is not amazing, but that's not all dudes. There's one more thing that this armor does that is just ridiculously overpowered. Let me show you that in a minute. Okay, so real quick before I show you, uh, before I show you what this armor does and why it's so cool, I need one more item. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. I need one more item so, uh, I can disable these effects whenever I want to. So, uh, there we go. This is called an armor inhibitor, and what this does is whenever you turn it on, it turns off your armor. So, check this out. Whirlwind, haste 2, and all my effects, I click this, 
and it turns it off. And my armor is pretty much like not really wearing armor. So, uh, yeah. And I know you're asking, I know you're wondering, Sunday, why would you ever want this? Why would you ever want to turn off your armor? Uh, well, when you see what the last effect is and why this armor is so awesome, you'll understand why. So, uh, let's go ahead and turn back on our armor and, uh, let's go look at why this armor is so amazing. And, uh, yeah, real quick, the reason why I didn't do Sigil of Haste on any of my armor is because I don't want to have, like, look at this. Look how fast I run. I don't want to run this fast all the time. Uh, so yeah, that's why I didn't add that to my armor. So, uh, yeah, GG. Um, okay. So here's what this armor does, dudes. Here's what this armor does. Check this out. Let's go find an enemy. Let's go find someone that wants to kill my face. <laughs> let's just, let's just go hang out with somebody. And, uh, let's see. I think there's a cave down here somewhere. Oh, yeah, down here. Okay, so check this out. Here's a zombie. Actually, let's go back here. Let's find a lone zombie. Here we go. Hey, dude. Uh, and watch this. Wait, um, <laughs> but the freaking princes are gonna kill him. Hey, dude, why are you not mad? <laughs> eh, he, my, dear lord. These freaking princes are insane. They're just killing everything. Let me find a better spot to show you this stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. Um, let, let's, let's test this out on a boss. Let's test this out on a dry, jumpy bug. Uh, let's go ahead and get one of these. There we go. And uh, let's just, let's test this armor out on a boss. Dude, it's amazing armor. So uh, let's go ahead and put this up. And uh, let's just, let's head over here. <laughs> let's test this out on this boss. So uh, here's what this armor does. Whenever I find a spot, it, let's try it, it over somewhere. Over here, I guess. This will work. Yeah, this will work right here. So, uh, check this out. I have 9, 945,150 life points available. So, and of course, whenever I click this blood orb, uh, it fills it up more. You guys know that. But uh, check this out. Whenever I'm wearing this armor and I have life points, watch my health. Go ahead, bro. Get pissed. I don't care. Are you not going to do damage? There we go. Look at my health. I take no damage. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Are you scared? You scared of me? Are you afraid of... <laughs> let, me, let me go to human form and look at... Look at my armor. It looks like blood. It's pretty sick. Look at this. I look awesome, don't I? Where, where's the jumpy bug? The jumpy bug is scared. Hey, dude. Are you scared? Look at this. My health never moves. My health will never move. It, it, hey, <laughs> look at this. My, my health just won't move. It will not move. And uh, here's the reason why. Uh, this armor, like, uh, set me on fire. I don't care, bro. Go ahead. Set me on fire. Poison me. Do whatever the freak. Blind me. I don't care. You, you will not hurt me. What this armor does is whenever I have life points available, any damage I take will be replaced with life points. So every heart of damage I take will subtract 300 life points. And dudes, I almost have a million life points. So uh, let's go ahead and do some math. So uh, let's take uh, 1 million, divide it by 300, so I can take 3,333 po or hearts of damage before I take any damage. <laughs> Tell me that is not sick as crap. That's why this armor is OP as crap. I will never take damage. Like... This is ridiculous. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. Eat my face. I don't care. <laughs> Go ahead. Just eat it. Eat it. Take take my take my derp skin and eat it. <laughs> this is so awkward. But uh, yeah, dudes, that's why this armor is so ridiculous. I never take damage. Just stupid. And now you gotta die. Sorry. G freaking G. But anyways, dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Crazy Craft. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And of course, if you have, be sure to show me some love. Hit that like button down below. Maybe we can get to uh, yeah, 15,000 likes. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel for daily Minecraft videos. And uh, yes, look at us, dudes. We are blood-filled. <laughs> this looks like this, this armor is absolutely amazing. So uh, yeah, we are stronger than ever. This is beautiful. Okay, so now real quick, uh, let's go ahead, uh, since the king decided to kill me nine times, let's go ahead, I need to make some more life puppets. Actually, I kind of want to make a crap ton trays full. Uh, even though I have this armor, let's say I'm in a battle with the next boss, which is ridiculously overpowered, and somehow that boss takes away all my life points, uh, I still want to have extra lives. I, I do. I need extra lives, and these are kind of useless now, <laughs> because this uh, armor never takes 
takes durability damage. So, uh, I think I have enough stuff. I think I do. Let's go ahead. I need more string. Let me let me go ahead and do chicken chest some string just because I'm in a hurry. <laughs> and uh, what's the crafting recipe? I forgot. Oh, dear Lord. Uh, I'm going to make nine for now, and then I can come back later and make more. It's just, it's no big deal. I'll just, I'll just make nine for now, and then uh, 12. I can actually make 12. Yeah, let's just make nine. Uh, let's uh, eight. Let's put in eight more. Uh, there we go. So we have eight of these. G freaking G. And then now let's make the... the raining again are you kidding me that's the second time in one video that is just ridiculous what what is my luck so i need drop of luck and diamond vapor yeah i have luck you're right drop of luck and diamond vapor okay so uh, we put this up here, put this up here, divide up this like so. There we go. Okay, cool. So a uh, drop of luck, G freaking G, or uh, not drop of luck, death protection puppet. So now I have nine more lives after this. I can, I'll bound, bound these to myself and don't, we, uh, we're like a cat again. And then hopefully I, I plan on making a crap ton. I honestly didn't think the king was going to be that strong. But, uh, he apparently killed me nine times. <laughs> Dear Lord. Hopefully this armor will change that, though. Hopefully. Never know until you fight him. Uh, okay, so there we go. Let's put all of this up. There we go. Actually, I need, I need nine of these. Uh, there we go. Let's make nine of these. Boom, like so. And then let's put these needles back up. And put the string back up, and you guys know how I do this. Bound this to my bed. <laughs> take the hairs out of it. Take the blood out of my bed. And uh, here we go. Cool deal. Now, all of these will be bound to myself, dudes. Now we have nine extra lives. So, like I said, if my armor ever does give out because I run out of life points or whatever else, <laughs> I'm like a cat. I have nine freaking lives, and like I said, I plan on making a crap ton more, just because, dudes, I don't like dying. I don't do too well <laughs> with dying, so, uh, there we go. Now we have nine extra lives, all of them are bound to me, pretty freaking sick, dudes. We are OP as balls, and, uh, yeah, remember when I said, uh, the armor inhibitor, uh, that that's the reason why I made it, so, uh, I can turn it off whenever I'm not doing anything, and then I won't lose life points. So uh, whenever I take damage, I won't lose. I won't just like waste life points. And then whenever I go fight the boss, I can cut it back on. And then GG, we're gonna be overpowered as crap, dudes. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. But anyways, dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, be sure to show me some love. Hit that like button down below. Maybe we can get to uh, 15,000 likes. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, hit that subscribe button if you're new to my channel for daily Minecraft videos. And, uh, yes, dudes, we got this awesome armor. We are overpowered as crap. We have nine lives, soon to have more. And, uh, yes, this is gonna be awesome, dudes. That end boss has no clue what's coming.